Now Zad is teaming up with Animal Aid Abroad and their campaign, Walk a Mile in a Donkey's Shoes. So today here in Kabul, Afghanistan, we're actually going to show you what it's like for a working donkey and some of the dangers, some of the stresses they have to face while they're working here. We've got one of the donkeys that's carrying this, um, or pulling this cart with this amazing load on it, um, these hay bales, and you can see the size of the poor donkey. Um, these guys are just worked to death. Um, there's no proper food, no nutrition, they don't get adequate rest, um, and you can see sadly from the way that this donkey is harnessed up, there isn't much care that actually goes into helping the animal deal with those loads it's got to carry. Um, so today the challenge that we've set ourselves is actually this donkey is going to come into the Nauzad clinic, it's going to get checked over by Dr. Ashad, it's going to have some quality food, um, and it's going to have a rest for an hour. And I'm going to take up the challenge of pulling its load and walking that mile in its shoes around Kabul to show you what it's like. And if you want to support us, if you want to make a difference for these guys, then you can buy one of these T-shirts. Now's ads T-shirt that you shouldn't, uh, sorry, a donkey shouldn't work its ass off. Um, that will make a huge difference to what we do here in Kabul and help these guys. You can also donate via our online platforms. Um, so please visit our website after you watch this video, nowsad.com, and please share this video as well. But let's get this donkey some rest, and then I'll pick up the weight, and let's see what happens. I am going to do the checkup on this donkey. The donkeys here suffers a lot. They have sores, injuries, and still working like the sores they have here, and the injuries of taking over loads, but still working. The owners, lots of owners, not all of them, but lots of owners think that they, while working a lot, they need lots of oxygen, and for taking oxygen, they cut the nostrils without any anesthesia, or without any sedatives. They cut the nostrils, and for taking the oxygen. The problem that the donkeys and equines suffering here a lot that is hoof framing. The hooves are not framed well. The unbalanced hooves which cause a lot of arthritis in equines in young age, even the young age. And they, the hooves are not well framed, well framed and they are unbalanced and still working. The saws that you have seen on the donkey before, it occurred because of the ropes that you are, they are using for the donkeys to pull the cart. So this rope is very hard and so stiff and it will cause sores, wounds, all this occur from this. So for prevention of these sores and wounds, it's better to put padding on the ropes. That will help a lot for the donkeys and around the nose, nostrils and cover the ropes. It will help and it will not cause any sores and uh, injuries. incredibly hard work uh, pulling this car and you can just imagine what this donkey feels like. I'm actually incredibly wary of all the cars that are just driving past. A lot of them don't leave a lot of room um, and that poor donkey, yeah that's just forced to keep going. You know, at least I know, well hang on, I think I'm going to stop because there's a car going to hit me. Um, it's just so sad that these donkeys are just, and horses have worked like this every day, day in, day out. I'm quite lucky as well, it's not really that hot today. Um, it has been up to 36 degrees centigrade. And the donkeys, they don't have water stops. Um, they just work until they get the job done. So we've just turned onto one of the side roads on Darlaman Road. One of the most dangerous roads in Kabul for the amount of traffic. And you can just hear it. Can you imagine just having to cross this as the donkey pulling this load? So scary. I mean, you really got to feel for these poor animals having to do this day in, day out. If you want to help us to help these donkeys and working horses, then please do buy this 
a donkey shouldn't work its ass off t-shirt. The profits from this t-shirt do make a difference and you are spreading awareness. And you can also donate on our website towards our working donkey program. It all does help and it does make a difference. And thankfully our donkey today is back in the Hazard Clinic having some ginger snaps and some carrots and a well-earned rest. Um, something I'm going to be doing when we finish this, that's for sure. Some of you may have read the story of Mac Buller. One of our donkeys we rescued last year. She was involved in a road traffic accident. The car hit her while she was pulling a cart. And one of these handles actually became embedded in her rear uh, right flank. Um, she was in such pain, um, obviously really badly damaged. Um, but if it hadn't been for our amazing veterinary team, sadly she would have died on the side of the road. But the guys got to her, um, managed to get a truck, get her in the truck, get her to the Nelsad Clinic, where they were able to, um, after seven operations though, um, treat her for those wounds. Um, this is incredibly hard work, but just like a working donkey, a working horse, when they stop, they don't get to rest, they don't get to put the load down, they've just got to stand there, still carrying that load on their backs. So this is my rest, and uh, my abs are absolutely screaming from holding on to this. Um, and I've just got to reiterate again, the noise that you can hear on the street with the cars and the sirens going. And remember, some of these dogs as well have witnessed the horrors of the conflict here in Afghanistan. Um, the IEDs have gone off. You know, there's no one there to then go and counsel these donkeys and look after them. They just have to pot up with it all. Um, it breaks my heart, it really does. Right, that's rest over. It's time for me to head back. I'm coming to the end of my challenge now to walk a mile in a donkey's shoes. A challenge that's been uh, set up by Animal Aid Abroad and now they have teamed up with them to highlight the plight of the poor working donkeys and horses here in Afghanistan and around the world. If you feel you want to help the donkeys and horses here in Afghanistan then please visit the nowzad.com website and buy one of these t-shirts. A donkey shouldn't work its ass off t-shirt. The profits go into helping us run these working donkey programs. So I had a quick look there just to make sure I wasn't gonna get hit by a car. Um, so please help us out today. Your donations, they really, truly, they do make a difference. Um, please visit Allied Abroad as well. Um, you can see the work, the fabulous work they're doing for working donkeys and equines around the world. So I'm coming back to the Nelsat Clinic now and I truly cannot wait to pop this down. Um, we're going to help out this poor donkey, it's not going to carry this load to its destination. Um, our team here, we're going to load these hay bales into our van and we're going to take it to where this donkey was going to deliver it. So the donkey's going to have, hopefully, a nice light load for the rest of the afternoon. So that's the end of my challenge, walk a mile in a donkey's shoes. Um, and it is absolutely horrendous being out on those roads, pulling a cart with the traffic, no one cares. They're just getting so close to you, they're cutting you up. It's absolutely horrible. And these donkeys are just struggling, the working equine struggling with the loads they're being forced to carry. 
So please help us out. Visit the nailsad.com website today. Buy one of these amazing t-shirts that Donkey shouldn't work its ass off. Or just donate money and we will turn that money into help for these poor working donkeys and equines out here in Afghanistan. So please share what we've done today, make people aware, and let's make a difference for these guys. Thank you so much.